members to take the oath of affirmation secretary general please shrimati shruti pandey will benefit from barani constituency of uttar pradesh will now take oath of affirmation shrimati shruti madam
honorable members as we meet today it is my sad duty to inform the house of the demise of our former colleague sri suresh kumar sri suresh kumar was an agriculture by profession and an active social worker he worked in the rural areas devoting his time and energy to the welfare of the agricultural laborers and the other of bad classes and the down poor he was the president of mazdoor sam he was an able parliamentary and an effective orator to keen interest in the proceedings of the house he passed away at new delhi on 30th july 2022 at the age of 35 He was a young man who came from a family of freedom fighters, and whose father had made a name for himself. And this tradition was carried by the family. He was the first to be buried last moment behind a bright picture of him. Sir, I would like to extend my deep condolences to his family. Sir, I associate myself with the tribute paid by you and the leader of the house. I had the privilege to bury the Suresh Kumar as a Kani. He was a person who, because of lovable nature, never hurt anyone. He was always with a smiling face and was a very open-hearted person. We have lost a very good social worker, political worker, public man in him. I would like to associate myself and my party in sending our condolences to the bereaved family. The house may stand in silence for a while to express our deep sorrow. Secretary General, I convey the message of condolences to the bereaved family. Yes, sir. Honorable Prime Minister, to introduce new ministers. Sir, I have the pleasure in introducing you, and through you to the house, my colleague, the new minister, Sri Hari Shankar Shukla, Minister for. Across 600 districts, 6,000 blocks, 
2.5 lakh gram panchayats and 6 lakh villages in the country through self managed SHGs and support them for livelihood collectives. Under the scheme, at least one woman member from each identified rural poor household is to be brought under the SHG in a time bound manner. The next scheme is Pradhan Mantri Ujjwal Under the scheme, last in 2014, over 8 crore LPG connections have been provided to below party line families with the support of rupees 1600 per connection. According to the government statement, the scheme was launched to safeguard the health of women and children by providing them with clean cooking fuel. The other scheme is Pradhan Mantri Jandal Under the financial inclusion scheme launched in August 2016, it aims to provide winners' classes to banking facilities with at least one basic banking account for every household. It is increasing the financial literacy, access to credit, insurance, and pension. There are over 20 crore women general beneficiaries in the country. Any supplementaries? Three Jayaprakash, please. Sir, some states like Bihar, Northeastern states, and Jammu and Kashmir are lagging behind in development. Will the Minister of Labor to please this state? What steps are taken by the government to develop this state? Why? Why the development of states are not affecting the people of this state? Minister of Labor, please. Sir, our government is taking special interest in these states. For instance, rupees 500 crore special package is given to Bihar, rupees 2000 crore package for North Eastern states, and rupees 10,000 crore package for the Jammu and Kashmir towards the developmental activities. But insurgency, terrorism, casteism, and bureaucratic corruption are the reasons for not teaching the developmental fruits to the people of these states. Thank you, sir. Moving to question number 202, Sri R.C. Shio Prasad, please. Sir, with the national average of drop out at 37%, India may be entering the next millennium as the nation with the largest population of literates. The government is spending less than 4% of our end, less than gross domestic product on education, half of this on elementary education. The NEP, the National Educational Policy 2020, also is an attempt to lead to total privatization, commercialization, and over centralization. The result will be the higher fees, attacks on autonomy of university, and no permanent jobs in teaching. The National Educational Policy had also left many unanswered questions on the upgrade of school infrastructure and shortage of trained and qualified teachers. Placing the burden of pre primary education on the overstretched, underfunded, and underactive Anganwadis was distressed. Sir, will the Minister of Education be pleased to what is the amount spent by the government on the education and please explain the merits of national educational policy. Thank you, sir. Minister for Education, please.
श्रीमती शारदा प्लीज
cyber criminals are committing a fraud of a large scale on common citizens, particularly bank account holders throughout the country. And what is the number of the cases which came to the government, cognizance of the government during last three years? And what is the action taken in this regard? Thank you, sir. Minister of Electronic and Information Technology, please. Honorable Speaker, sir, as per the data maintained by NCRB, that is National Crime Records Bureau, the Ministry of Outfits, the total law.
with your auditor account and comment of controller with an auditor general thereof. Thank you, sir. Secretary General to report message from the upper chamber of youth parliament. Sir, I have to report the following message received from the Secretary of Upper Chamber of Youth Parliament. In accordance with provisions of rules of procedure and conduct of business in upper of the youth parliament, I am directed to enclose a copy of free and quality and free education in government schools bill 2022 as passed by the Upper Chamber of Youth Parliament at its sitting held on 14 July 2022. Secretary General, to lay on the table a copy of the bill as passed by the upper chamber of the youth parliament. Sir, I lay on the table of the house a copy of free and quality elementary education in government schools bill 2022 as passed by the upper chamber of youth parliament. Honorable members, I am happy to inform you that the Spanish delegation led by Mr. Emmanuel
Now we will take up the legislative business. Honorable Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment will introduce the bill for emancipation of women and gender equity 2022. Honorable Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment, please. Honorable Speaker, sir, I beg to introduce bill for women empowerment and gender equality 2022. Now. Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment, please. Sir, at the first time will be considered. The question is that you will be granted to introduce a bill for women empowerment and gender equity 2020. Those who are in favor may please say aye. Aye. Those who are against it, please say no. no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment, please. Sir, I request the bill be considered. Now, the House will take consideration of the Empowerment of Women and Gender Equity Bill 2022. Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment, please. Honorable Speaker, sir, I beg to move that bill to provide emancipation of women position in society, giving equal, equal participation in government and other sectors.
लोगों की मान्यता को बदले उनके विचारों को बदले इसी उद्देश्य से मैं सरकार से विनती करता हूँ कि सरकार से विनती करता हूँ कि नियमों को प्रभावपूर्ण तरीके से लागू करें ताकि लोगों में महिलाओं के प्रति अच्छी और नेक भावना उत्पन्न हो तथा वे समाज में गौरव बढ़ाएं और समाज में गौरव बढ़ाएं